a historic defensive display in Ohio high school soccer, and a newcomer meets the moment in the Wisconsin football state finals. Welcome to NFHS Overtime. I'm Nate Perry. 25 games played, two goals allowed. Yep, the Cincinnati Archbishop Moeller High School soccer team was scored upon just twice in 2023 on its way to a slew of state records. The Crusaders' suffocating defense led them to 24 straight victories to open the campaign, setting Ohio High School Athletic Association records for most wins and most consecutive wins in a season. After giving up a goal in the season opener against Walnut Hills High School, Moeller reeled off 23 consecutive shutouts to notch two more state records and didn't give up a second goal until the second half of the state championship. Unfortunately for Moeller, that goal would lead to a 1-1 draw at the end of regulation and a state runner-up finish as Cleveland St. Ignatius High School emerged victorious in penalty kicks 5-4. Imagine learning a new sport from scratch and then being called into action for the first time with the ultimate prize on the line. Stratford, Wisconsin High School's Lorenz Platner found himself in that exact situation. Here's how it played out. Plattner, a German foreign exchange student with a soccer background, attempted his first field goal of the season in the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association Division VI state final, but his bid to give Stratford a late lead over Darlington High School was blocked, keeping the score tied at seven. Then, with Darlington just trying to get the game to overtime, the ball squirts free and Stratford recovers it. A defensive penalty on the final play of the game gave Plattner one more crack at it from 32 yards away, and this one is right down Main Street. The Tigers take it 10-7, and Plattner has quite the story for his family and friends back home. That'll do it for this episode of NFHS Overtime, but we'll be back again soon. So long, everybody.